Hello, welcome back to the ABBA English YouTube channel. I'm Teacher Martine and I speak with a British accent. Activate the subtitles if you need to so that you understand this video well. Then watch it again without the subtitles to train your ear to understand spoken English. During this video, I'm going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. At the end of the video, you will always know whether to use how much or how many. Make sure you watch until the end of the video so that you don't miss anything. Do you know how to ask about money? Is it how much money or how many money? You'll find out at the end of this video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the ABBA English YouTube channel so that you get a notification every time a new video is ready. You might have already watched the video that I made about there is and there are. We talked about countable nouns then, but today we're going to go into a bit more detail. You can also check out this blog post about quantifiers. Learn how to use quantifiers. Let's start our class. First of all, nouns. Nouns are things, they're the names of things. And we have two categories of nouns, countable and uncountable. Let's start with countable nouns. Countable nouns are things that you can count on your fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Cats, dogs, children. Remember that children is an irregular plural. It's the plural of child. One child, two children. Now, uncountable nouns are a bit different. You can't count them on your fingers. They're uncountable. Uncountable nouns include amalgamated things. Things like liquids, pastes, and gases. So some examples of uncountable nouns are water, oil, mm, butter, air, the gas all around us. Uncountable nouns are also things that come in tiny little pieces. Mm -hmm. Things like rice and flour salt and gravel, the little tiny stones that are used to make the road, gravel. There's another category of uncountable nouns and this includes concepts. For example, information is an uncountable noun and so is love. Knowledge and news are other examples of uncountable nouns. Now, let's talk about articles, the articles that we use with countable nouns. We use a or an, a dog, or we can use a number, two cats, or we can use some for an unspecified number that's more than one, some people. That's another irregular plural. One person, two people. So we can use some people with countable nouns. Now with uncountable nouns, we don't usually use an article. And these uncountable nouns do not have plurals. So we never put an S on the end. We use some. Some water. Have you got some water to drink? Some money. I need some money. And weight. I've put on some weight. Next, we want to learn how to 
ask about quantities. This is where we use how much and how many. Many is used with countable nouns. How many dogs do you have? How many cats have you got? How many languages do you speak? Much is used with uncountable nouns. How much water do you have? How much weight did you lose? How much money have you got? Next, we need to know how to answer that question. And this is where we can use there is and there are. There's a dog. There's some information. There is a dog. There is some information. When we want to use a plural noun, remember, we need to use there are. There are some dogs. We use there is with the uncountable noun information. When we want to talk about big quantities, we use lots and a lot of. There is a lot of information about this subject. There are lots of people here. When we want to talk about small quantities, we use a little and a few. Few goes with countable nouns. There are a few people here, but not many. There is a little oil on the salad, but not much. A little and a few mean a small number or a small amount. When we want to talk about very small quantities, we use few and little without an article. There are few people here. I was hoping to see more. There's little water left, hardly any at all. So let's practice with a few examples. Which would you use when you ask about money? How much or how many? Money is an uncountable noun. How much money have you got? I've got some, but not much. I've got some, but only a little. How much Japanese do you know? Do you know a lot or not much? I only know about three words, so I know little Japanese. Now you can answer the question about money. How much money? How much money do you have? I hope it's lots and lots. How much tea do you drink? I drink a lot of tea about four or five cups a day. Let's recap what we studied in this class. You learned about countable and uncountable nouns. And you learned how to use much and many in questions, how much, how many and in negative sentences. Not much, not many. You also learned how to use a lot of, lots of, a little, little, a few and few in affirmative sentences, in positive statements. I hope this class was useful. Remember, you can find all of these tips in the box underneath the video. Click on show more. If you liked this video, please give it a nice thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe to the ABBA English channel so that you will get a notification next time a video is available. You can also share this video with a friend who you think might find it useful. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Meanwhile, you can watch some of these other videos that I think you might find quite useful. Bye bye.